Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today's episode, I'm taking a look at the acceleration on my 08X scooter. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I think this would be a perfect time for you to go ahead and do that. Yeah. Now, I wanted to do this test because really I don't use any other modes on the scooter and so I was a little curious to see what it actually did and if I needed to go on a long trip, how I could maximize the efficiency of it. The testing I'll be doing today includes eco versus turbo mode, single versus dual motors, and some time top speed challenges with two trials per category. Starting the challenge today with a completely full battery at 58.9 volts. That's going to make sure that I'm going to get the best, most accurate numbers as possible. Now on that same note, I am using a GPS app so I can post the speed that I'm using on the screen here. It isn't going to be the most accurate. It does match up with the speedometer on the scooter pretty well, but it isn't going to be 100% accurate. And also on that same note, I'm just eyeballing it when I kind of start the, the stop clock here just when the scooter starts moving. So like I said, not 100% accurate, but this definitely will give you a good idea of what each mode on the scooter can do in a rough ballpark time frame. Now that I've got my disclaimer out of the way, one thing I really did notice about this is I don't want to be riding the scooter in this mode. I'm sure you guys can kind of gather from just a couple of first tests here, it doesn't go fast at all. Um, I didn't buy the scooter to drive it in mode one. It has a top speed in dual modes with turbo on of 16 or 17 miles an hour. So that is good for getting around if I want to be efficient. But like I said, this isn't the reason I bought this scooter. There's plenty of other options for scooters that can go 17, 18 miles an hour. Uh, and this isn't the one that I wanted to do that with. Moving on to gear two, this is probably going to be a more practical application for majority of people watching this. Uh, gear three is super fun, but it definitely uses a lot of power and so you can't use it for a very long distance. Gear two, you're definitely going to get the most bang for your buck for um, speed, acceleration, and then distance as well. With a top speed of about 22 to 24 miles per hour, gear two is probably gonna be the best gear to ride in if you plan on taking this scooter on any form of extended travel. Now I say that because I did a range test earlier and I was able to go about 13 miles with absolutely no problem. And so I guesstimated you can get anywhere between about 23 to 25 miles of range out of gear two here using dual motors in turbo mode on a single charge. Now there was one thing I was a little bit surprised about when doing these tests, and that's for gear two and three as well. Um, <laughs> when you're in single motor in eco mode, the scooter, no matter which gear you're in, doesn't go faster than 12 miles an hour. I mean, maybe if you catch a hill, you can get it going 13, 14, but as far as accelerating, um, gear one, two, and three, single motor in eco mode, 12 miles per hour tops. Um, I, I really thought in gear two and three, we were gonna have a little bit more uh, acceleration but it, it it actually goes slower in um, gear two and three when you're using more power with both motors so I, I don't know it's kind of a weird phenomenon so it's definitely safe to say even if you've never ridden the scooter and you're just watching these videos um, it's not really that much fun to ride the scooter in any other mode outside of dual motors and turbo mode um, you can get away with single motor turbo uh, for a little bit, but it really is, it doesn't become fun until you start using both motors in turbo mode and really in gear two and three. So that's really kind of the last thing I'll say about gear two is that I really don't want to ride the scooter in anything less than gear two with dual motors on. So last but certainly not least is going to be gear three. 
Now this is the most fun that I've had when riding this scooter because of course it goes the fastest. You get the most acceleration out of it and the highest top speed when using it. However, with that said, like I talked about earlier, you also get the lowest amount of range when using gear three. So I did touch on it a little bit in gear two when I was talking about that, but the top speed in gear three eco and single motor is gonna be somewhere around 12 to 13 miles per hour. So it was a little disappointing when I did these tests, to be honest, I've never really ridden the scooter in these settings because of course in gear three, I wanted to take it as fast as I could. And so I never really tested out how slow it could go because that didn't really make sense to me. So like I said, I, it was slightly disappointing to find out that there wasn't really any variance between. Um, I was kind of hoping that with three different gears and the different settings in between, you know, eco and turbo and dual mode and single that you can have a little bit more options as far as speed control, but eh. So the top speed listed for this scooter is 33 miles per hour or about 53, 54 kilometers per hour. And in my findings, or just using the scooter, um, really you can push it to about 30 or 31. Um, and you really need maybe like a slight downhill or something like that to get it going up to around the top speed. But even still, that is incredibly fast to be taking the scooter at, and it's super fun when you do get it up to that. But like you can see from watching these videos, it's not the fastest. It takes about 17 or 18 seconds to really get up to the top speed here, which in a lot of cases, you don't necessarily have a full 20 seconds to, um, to go straight. If you're driving on the street, there's cars or whatever the case is, you can't just always be on the throttle all the way. And so sometimes you don't necessarily get to take advantage of the top speed here because like I said, it does take you almost 20 seconds to get up there. But nonetheless, still super fun when you do get it. And especially once you get it over that, you know, 31 mark, when you get around 33 or 34, super fun. So as I reach the end of these trials here, I'm gonna post the final results. There's a, a lot of numbers up here, so if you guys wanted to check all of them out, it'd probably be a good time to go ahead and pause the video here, just so you can take a look at everything. But I think the most notable category is probably gonna be the Eco Single. If you look across the board, Gear 1 actually outperformed Gear 2 and Gear 3. Uh, I don't really know why, I don't have an explanation for that. I don't think it was how I did the tests because the majority of them are pretty spot on as far as um, test 1 to test 2, but uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting that Gear 1 actually outperformed in one of the categories here. So that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys had any questions, please make sure you leave them in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.